Well, hello everybody. It's me, Tracy, again with another DIY. I did a video on Posh Lady Bags, and I like her videos. But sometimes everybody can't get some of the things that everybody does. So, I, even though I got it, I feel like it, it could be an easier way. So, these are the bags that I've done. And I feel like this is the easiest, simple way. And I'm sure she might have did it. I just have not seen all her videos. So I'm not sure if she did it or she didn't do it. But this is my way. So I'll put the bag. See the pictures on the bag. And then I did a pink one. And these little bags I bought from the store. They were two for a dollar. So I'm just changing them up and make them personalized bags and you can do any picture you want with the bag and, and yes they're in the front and they're in the back as well and the, this one I put this handle on it and, and it's sturdy because the bag is when I tell you the bag is sturdy this is a heavy bag it might be a, like 110 pound car stock that's how stiff it is and look how nice size. And I know them bags with the placemats were very nice. And I already done that. But I wanted to do the these little bags, like personalized little bags that they use in the gift stores when you want to give out gifts. But I couldn't figure it out. What they was doing. And and I don't and I can't I don't I can't say it's pride. I'm just not gonna ask people what they do. I'm going to look at things and figure it out myself. So, we're going to make one right now. I got the bag. I'm going to do it with the string. And here's the string that I took out the bag. So, it's like a like a golden, golden bronze color. And I'm using a sticker paper. So, I printed out Coach. And for this project, you need to print out two of them. So, I'm sure y'all gonna like this video. It's very simple, it's very easy. All my videos are pretty much easy. Like I say, I'm gonna make it easy because I don't like to do a lot of struggle when it comes to doing stuff. So, I got me one of these, the Exacto knife, and I'm gonna cut off some of this excess paper, but not too much of it. Because I don't want to, um, I'm just going to cut around it and leave in some on the outside. Okay. Throw it on the floor. Let everything go on the floor until you finish the project. Then you clean up. <laughs> That's my motto. Clean up when you finish. Alright, so this is a label paper. We call it sticker paper. We call it sticker paper. This actually label printing paper that you use for package and sending off uh, material, like you send packages off somewhere. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to peel this paper off, and I'm going to put the paper on the bag, and then I'm going to start at the bottom and rub it because we don't want no bubbles. All right. And you see how that look? It look nice already. But that's not the end of it. I'm going to cut off. Um, I think it might be a little sideways. But the other side. Of it. And then I'm going to trim off the excess paper that was left on here. Trim this off. Close to the bag without cutting the bag. Throw the paper on the floor. <laughs> That's my motto. Throw it on the floor. Get you a big trash can to put next to you. But my room is too small for a big trash can. So I'm going to cut that off. So I like to say, if you find this video and you like it, please, please like it. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I think I have a lot of useful videos people and I would like for y'all to subscribe to my channel let me take a second it, it keeps me motivated 
I feel like y'all like what I'm doing by making things easier. If you're subscribed to my channel, it makes me want to keep giving y'all more. So, so far, this is the bag. This is the front of the bag. Now, doesn't that look nice already? But it is nice, but it's not complete because it just looked like somebody stuck some paper in the front. So we're gonna go a little bit step farther than that. I got some laminated sheets. This is a laminated sheet. Right, so this is a piece of one that I already cut. So we're gonna use the laminated sheet, the piece that I already cut. And we're gonna peel this paper off of the laminated sheet. And I'm gonna place it gently on here. And we're gonna rub it as we lay it because we don't want bubbles. Okay? Then we're gonna use this Zacto knife and go across it on the side like we did the um, paper. And we're gonna cut off this piece. Fold it up and we're gonna throw it on the floor like I said. <laughs> so I got a crafting group. It's called Crafting Together as One. For the people who haven't found the group yet, um, they do a lot of divas. We do a lot of stuff. We do a lot of things that I try to do to make it easier. You see, my thing is always to do something easy and shortcuts. Got to be shortcuts. There's always some shortcuts in this in in crafting. We just have to find the shortcuts. So I'm just trimming off this extra um, laminated sheet paper. See how I give it that coat now? And that coat makes it look extra special. So we're gonna finish cutting it from the top here. Look at that. Now, this is a bag that took less than five minutes to do. I didn't even get to the other side yet. So we're gonna open it up because this bag has holes in it. See the holes? So I'm gonna use my hole puncher and I'm gonna look in here and I'm gonna find the hole and I'm gonna punch the hole in the, in the same spot where it's at. And I'm gonna punch one on this side. All right, and then I have something like a little small screwdriver. See if y'all can find yourself one. And we're gonna go in this hole and make this hole bigger because we gotta get the string back in there. So we're gonna make this hole bigger. So my videos is about taking what somebody else did and, and, and trying to figure out another way to do it to make it simple and personalized. That don't take forever. I don't have time to sit here and do stuff that takes a long time. So. All right, so there you go. You can do it on one side or you can do it on both sides. So I'm going to do it on the other side as well. So I found something that's stabilized to keep the bag popped up because we want to keep the bag popped up. And I have another picture. I'm going to cut the picture this way. I'm going to lay it down on here like I did the last one. And I'm going to cut, basically cut around it because I would like to leave a little bit of material that way I can make sure it's covered fully. It don't have to be a perfect cut because that sure ain't perfect. Now that I got that perfectly, not perfect, but cut nicely, I'm gonna do this again in case y'all missed something the first time. I'm gonna take this thicker paper. I'm gonna start here at the, the bottom. I'm gonna take, take my time nicely and rub it. Take my thing out of here and rub it some more. And then if you have any little bubbles, because every now and then you might get a teeny little bubble. Look at that teeny bubble. We're just going to take this scraper. If you got a cricket machine, you know about that scraper. Look at that. That bubble is now gone. So we're going to trim this paper off here, close to the edge. And I right handed, y'all can't see it, but I'm sure y'all know what I'm doing. Let me see if I can do it this way. 
but I don't want to mess up. So I'm going to go close enough to the box without cutting the box. And we're going to trim off some pieces. And then we're going to go on this side. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go here and we're going to trim it down. Now I'm sure everybody got these bags in their area that you can find. And not the flimsy cheap bag. We want to get the heavy, the heavy duty bag. This is heavy duty. When I say this heavy duty, look at that. Heavy duty car stock bag. And I think I paid two for a dollar. I got two for a dollar at a dollar, dollar plus store. Or a dollar store. So we're going to cut, cut this. Just trim it nicely. Get it close to it without cutting the bag because you don't want to mess the bag up. And these are called Zacto knife. I think it was a Zacto knife. They have them in the Dollar Tree. Some places have them in the Dollar Tree. When I found them, I bought like 20 of them. And then it's a way to find some replacement blades to put in here. So that side is now done. So now I got me a new piece of laminated sheet here. And I'm going to just peel it. Peel it and then I'm gonna stick it on this bag, but I'm not gonna peel all of it because I can do two bags and one thing. So I'm not gonna pull it directly onto it, I'm gonna leave some space in case I mess up. And even this can get bubbles in it, so you gotta be very mindful and making sure you don't get no bubbles when you do this. All right, so the same thing we're going to do again. We're going to cut this plastic or cut this laminated sheet around the box. We're going to cut this side. Make sure you don't cut your hand. We'll cut the box because the box is going to be so nice. And it's unlimited. I give everybody a little bit of what I do and then... Y'all take it from there and turn it into some beautiful stuff. Like, just with the divas. Y'all done took a little something I did and make it. <laughs> when I tell you them divas look pretty, sometimes I can say like, wow. I took a, decided to, to call it a diva on the picture frame. And now probably half the damn world is out here doing them. And some people have mentioned my names, but some people said they came up with it. But I want to say here on camera, I came out with that front face diva, diva with the hat, diva on the lap, and diva on the picture frame. Me. So all y'all who taking my credit, that's fine. It's okay. I still love y'all. And then people still know it came from me. But I'm glad y'all like what I did. So I'm using a hole puncher for the other side of the bag. And I'm gonna use my thing to stretch the hole out. Just to make it big enough to get the string back in it. And this string got the, you know, if you can tell when you got a good bag, when the string got this little piece on it that keeps it from falling out of the bag. That's when you know you got the good bag. If you get the one with, this, with the ribbon to it, that might be good too. You just have to take the knot out the ribbon and place it back. So, here you go. Now, like I said, I was sitting here thinking how I'm gonna make this thing simple. Simple is so simple that anybody in the whole world can do it and then they can give out personal gift bags to people. Somebody, because everybody loves the name brand. You can do Minnie Mouse bags for parties. You know, these laminate sheets, you can get them from Amazon. You can get like a hundred pack of them. And you can use, if you get the small bags, you can use two. If you get the big bags, you got to use two whole sheets and cut some trimming off of it. But isn't this decent? Please, y'all, like and subscribe to my channel. I try to come out with some easy, just the easiest thing. Take what people do and make it easy easy enough for even a, a child can do this and tell me this ain't nice and you can still fold it up look at that you can still fold it 
to store it. You can do a bunch of them and still fold it and put it up. And you don't have to worry about the size because this cardstock is so thick that it won't be no problem. So check out my group, Crafting Together is One. The materials you need is a bag. You need a bag. You need a exacto knife. You need a hole puncher. You need something to stretch the hole out. And you need laminated sheets. So please y'all watch the video so you don't have to call me and ask me what was the plastic you put on there. It's a laminated sheet. Try to watch some of these videos or, or, or skim through it and then hear what I have to say at the end. And you won't miss nothing. So let me show you these bags again. That's one of them. That's two of them. And these bags are taking less than five minutes to do. That's three of them. And the bigger bag is number four. And inside my bag is one of my wooden pocketbooks that go with the Louis Vuitton. So when I sell this bag, when I sell this pocketbook, then I can give them a nice pretty bag to go with it that they can keep as a gift. Thanks for watching my video. Till next time.